Hello everyone. This is Joy Olson and I am happy to be here with you again today. And we are really looking forward to talking about your elevator pitch. And I'm sure that everybody tells you you got to have a good elevator pitch. And if they haven't and you're wondering what an elevator pitch is, imagine this that you've just gotten on an elevator and you're going up about 14, 15 floors and guess who is in the elevator with you? Just the two of you. Your top prospect. You've got your prospect all to yourself for these few precious moments. What are you going to say to win this prospect over? To give him the greatest pitch that he, he or she cannot resist that is going to support something very, very important to your organization. So that is your elevator pitch. And you want to practice it, you want to rehearse it, and actually you want to practice and rehearse an elevator pitch with your board and your staff. Everyone should have something at a moment's notice that they can say that is compelling, passionate, and really make someone take notice of your organization and walk away thinking, gee, I'd like to know more about them, or gee, I think I'm going to support that organization. I think that they are just heartfelt and committed about helping. Okay, so what constitutes a great elevator pitch? Well, I put together this little list. Number one, why is your organization going to make your community or possibly the world a better place? That's one thing you want to address. Secondly, how are you going to do that? And thirdly, what are you proud of? Why are you involved? Why do you want to uh, be there, committed to this organization, helping raise money, not afraid to go out and ask for money, and just excited to tell people your story. Why are you there? And then give them a specific example. And for your specific example, pick one of your, your a heart-rendering best story, something that absolutely will make people see this, your entire organization in just one picture. Say, for example, that you are an animal organization and you helped save a dog that was going to be euthanized because he had such a mangled leg and you were able to save that dog and you did have to amputate the leg to save that dog, but the dog got a loving, wonderful home and, in fact, made this family so happy. And you heard this family say it was wonderful to be able to help this dog because we're all a little broken and this just makes the world a better place to be able to help. So that is an elevator pitch. And I hope that you've uh, enjoyed this, and I look forward to coming to you often with little tidbits, fundraising tidbits. So thank you for staying here with us, and catch up with us on Facebook and our webpage. And hey, hope you're having a great summer. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.